Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm here with Phoebe. And we're going to make, I don't know if you've seen them, some phone charms. Now they're quite popular, they've been about for a little while, but I've noticed lots of people have been getting them. Are you frowning? Because you know they're making bracelets as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're also making some bracelets because we got this for Phoebe for Christmas, this little set. Um, it's just got different beads in it. I bought it from Amazon. And I've got lots of beads and things as well in my stash. These are really cool though. There's loads of different beads. We're going to use these small beads. Can you see? They're little like that. I thought they'd be quite cool. And I've got my... What are you digging at? And I've got my box of bigger <laughs> She was laughing. Mum, you had it right to the camera. Can you see? Oh, showing them. Let's show them these. Look. This is quite cool. Do you think I'll drop it? I won't yeah, drop it. look, I've seen videos of people trying to put them back I'm together. Not, I'm not, no, I'm not going to drop it. There's even um, earring things in there and some shells. Do you remember when she used to have that shell necklace? Mm -hmm. She loved that. So let me show you how to make these phone charms and also we'll show you some bracelets that Phoebe makes as well. We're going to have to tell them what you're making it for. Tell them now. Is she going to watch it? No one watches it. Go on. She'll, be ha she'll have it by the time this goes out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm making mine, uh, my bracelet thing for Nana. Yeah, for your Nan. Yeah. So let's make a start, but um, as I say, I'll just show you how to make the phone charm first. To start now, we are going to use some wax cord. Now I bought this from Amazon. I bought the 0.5 wax cord. You get like lots of plastic cord in things, but um, from the research I've done, apparently the wax cord works really, really well. So I've got myself a ruler because the actual main part of the charm will be 11 inches. Okay, so I've got that just as a guide. So I've got the cord. You can, if you want to, keep the cord on the roll if you're not sure how much you need. So if you want to cut it off, I'd do at least double um, 11 inches, maybe even a little bit more. So what you need to do to start with on one end is give yourself a bit of room on one end to start and we're going to tie a knot. So just do that there, let me show you. Now in this, um, the kit that I bought, Phoebe, the bead kit, you actually get one of these, um, well, a couple of these little bead needles and we found them really helpful. So if you can get a bead needle, that does save a lot of time. And also another tip is to put one of these clips at the end after you've tied it and just tie that on there and it just stops the beads falling off at the end. Just a little tip that I found. So all it's a case of doing now is popping the beads on and as I say these needles really really help. So just get them and start threading them through and I need to go all the way along to 11 inches. So if you're putting say a name in like Phoebe's doing about halfway so five and a half inches is how it will bend. So let me just show you here. They bend like this. So if Phoebe's putting her name in, she needs to really be putting it on probably one side. So we, we're kind of measuring it on the um, the ruler as we go and then sort of put the beads in. So obviously the other side then loops round. So I'm just gonna finish putting these beads on here and um, I'll show you how to tie it. finished putting the beads on so now we're going to tie it so what you need to do is very carefully take off this here being careful not to make an additional knot in the end then what you need to do is just go up a little bit and you want to tie a knot in the top there So 
and then just cut off any excess, just leaving a tiny little gap like that. And then we need to tie another knot at the bottom so the beads don't move about. And this knot needs to be as close as possible to the bottom of the beads. I'm going to show you now how to attach this to your phone. So where the silencer part is on the side of your phone, you've got a little um, gap on your case. So what we need to do is to pop the, um, the wire bit through there. And then this tiny gap here, we thread the charm through there. So once that's threaded through, the bit there that you use to tie it, you can poke that inside and then that will hide. You won't be able to see that. You just put your phone back in and that is your phone charm all secured on to your phone. So we're just going to continue and make Phoebe's now. Right, Phoebe's doing hers now. So what we've got, she's, she's writing Phoebe down there. So we need, we've got to about halfway because she wants this little tassel halfway and she's just working out now what beads she wants to put on the other half, which will be the bit that comes round like that. So what have you got so far, Phoebes? So I'm thinking of putting these in, these little so many pieces. Yeah. I picked out purple and white because it will just go. And then I'm thinking of like doing this again. Uh-huh. Um, doing the same on the other side yeah but i don't really know what else to do no that looks cool you've got loads of beads to choose from but you've got to stick to your color scheme haven't you mm -hmm. okay right, we'll carry on then here we go this is phoebe's finished phone charm as you can see she's done purple and white and popped her name I made on. four of the phone charms and obviously phoebe's made hers as well and this is the bracelet that phoebe made so it's literally just got the uh the claws on the top and uh, all the bits came in the kit. The, the kit also came with these little bags as well, which are quite cute. So that obviously clips onto there, makes um, a bracelet and she's put a little N on for a nan as well. So um, yeah, that's that all done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully I've inspired you to make some and um, that's it for me. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.